All right, we're live. All right, all right, all right. Hey, that was a lot of fun. That was a lot, a lot, a lot of fun. Let me grab this computer so I can see some of the details. Okay, all right. Yes. Okay, let's go to my channel. Let's grab live. Let's see what you guys are talking. What you guys thinking? Okay. Let's see. Where's this live video at? It's hiding from me. Come on. I know you live, right? I know I saw you live. It always just has like a bit of a delay. It's so silly. There we go. I'm live. Getting the direct link. Okay. I'm in the room. There we go. Yes. Oh, I hear an echo. <laughs> oh my God. Turn the volume off. <laughs> Oh boy. Oh my gosh. You guys like my t-shirt? Super cute. I love it. I got this t-shirt at, I believe it's at Atlanta, Nat, uh, Atlanta's World Natural Hair Show. That is a super fun hair show. show, uh, hair show. <laughs> and they talk about health and wellness as well. They got some great aspects in, of, of the whole show, the whole event. And it's so much fun. And it's at Atlanta, Georgia. This year they had to cancel it due to COVID. Did any of you in the room ever go to that uh, world? So it's, wor it's the World Natural Hair Show and it's run by Talia Wajid. Uh, it's, it's a lot of fun. Let's see, I see, that's hey, hey. All right, you've been like, so excited about hair oil. Oh, you did, <laughs> Tiffany, I love it. That is so, so great. I love the hair tea, seriously. Like it's, um, it's so versatile and you won't find these herbs these moroccan herbs is a rare find they're very hard to get they're also very hard to import they are seriously not easy to import um this hair tea it really did, isn't if you guys knew the behind the scenes custom issues and oh <laughs> it's a whole nother type of situation importing is ooh, tough sometimes so you guys will love it and as I mentioned, it smells really, really good. So I want to know, do you guys have any questions? Uh, this is the before. This is when I first saw it in Morocco. The first time I laid eyes on it, I was like, oh, it looks so nice. Look at all these herbs. And then, you know, when I smelled it, I was like, oh, no, this needs to be a hair tea. This needs to be an herbal blend for someone's beautiful hair for sure. So they basically, you know, grind it very, very fine. So that way it fits into the tea bag, as you saw in the video already, but it fits really nice and cozy. And I like that it's in a tea bag. Like you get a lot of hair teas that I've seen um, that are kind of loose herbs. Uh, not everyone, I mean, that's me. I, I, you know, when I'm creating products, I think about how I want to use it. I don't really want it loose because that means I have to find something to strain it with, which is okay. Like if you want to do DIY and it's great, it is a great method, but if you really don't have a, you know, like just don't want to do that, <laughs> this is ready to use and it's ready to go. Like it, the tea bag, it's done. You've soaked it. You, you know, it's you know, toss it out. Uh, but definitely compost it if you can. It, everything in this whole collection here is uh, recyclable and biodegradable. So definitely do that. Oops, there we go. Um, and it's great. It's just a really great seven herbs lifts it on the sides here if you caught that so let me see if you guys have any questions because i know i'm just talking a lot talking 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 let me see hey chicago yeah yes okay it came up at 4 p.m yes so we're in eastern time zone by the way we're in maryland i've never been to chicago i had to heard it's a windy city and uh, i have just not been there as yet yes aquafina yes oh wow wow all right yeah it's a good one to go to yes Ro rose rodriguez it's very versatile it's good i teas and like even green tea teas like this will stop shedding a lot by doing the spritz method oh i you know what i have it over there somewhere you guys saw it right i laid it over there i don't want to reach over and knock something over but you saw it in the video the, the way you can spread can you no kimberly Epps, don't you can't drink it unfortunately no um do not drink this our products are not for uh consumption uh they are only for exterior use only for your hair and you know and and it's safe to run down your body you know but don't uh, drink it please this message is held for review 
Okay. Oh, Seer Shana. Awesome. Great comment. I don't know why it held it. Sorry. I don't know why this did it. But anyhow, maybe <laughs> a crackhead on crack. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes. Oh, thank you so much, Seer Shana. You are so sweet. Uh, and I am addicted to like making new products. Like I get so excited about adding new things and creating new DIYs. I actually have two new masks I want to come out with uh, in August. But once we get the shipment from India, you guys will be so happy to have Cassia, Amla, Aloe, Red Raj, Rajasani. Oh, what else? Fen they say fenugreek. Fenugreek's new. The Arabic hair tea will be back. Uh, well, that's new. That will that'll be in stock, but it's brand new. So we have the Moroccan herbal version. This is all native Moroccan herbs, and we will have an Ayurvedic one, which was um in will be Indian herbs basically. So let me explain one thing. So Moroccan um herbs and henna are not like clays are not necessarily Ayurvedic because they don't grow in India. What makes herbs Ayurvedic is because the origin is from India so and, and they practice Ayurvedic medicine you know Ayurveda so the, it ties into that so even though they herbal hair care and, and Ayurveda almost kind of umbrella each other in a way like if you want to think about the real the real Ayurveda and what it really is it's it's native to India um, it's not native to Morocco so this will be Africa though because Northern Africa African traditional Bedouin like some of these herbs we went out to the sahara desert and saw the farm I and mean, that's where the henna grows so it was amazing it really really is so i just want to share that so uh olu what so tosin said hey khadija is naturally saying that you could go to carry the tea range yes they are going to carry just about all the new products so stay tuned we're working on an order for them now now that we got this back in stock we should be shipping them out as an order like the latest early next week so stay tuned those in the uk but check out naturalistic, naturalistic products. They're amazing. Yes. Okay. All right, Karen. She said, come to Chicago and teach friends. We got, all right, we should do it. You guys can book me. You know, I will come to you. All my services I've actually converted to mobile services. Um, since, unfortunately, because of COVID-19, the local location here in Maryland closed down, I decided to just be mobile. Like, if anyone wants to book, you are more than welcome. It's on the website, actually. You just do book now. And I do one-on-one -on -one virtual consultations professionally, so you can book. I, every week, there are tons of clients actually booking consultations one-on-one. -on -one. I love it. Thank you guys so much for, for that. Yeah. Oh, Sassy, YouTube censors certain words. I wonder what word that was, Sassy Rare Breed. I'm still reading comments. You know, guys, I have to catch up, you know. I'm not as young as I used to be. <laughs> so it's maybe crackhead is that a word that they censor okay they're not going to shut us down on the live right what words do they censor hmm whenever i use henna teas my hair feels hard oh wanda really like you used a henna tea your hair felt hard well henna i mean is like like behaves like a protein treatment so are you protein sensitive? Maybe you need to do like teas that are, this is a very well balanced tea too. There is henna in it, but the other herbs are very balancing like chamomile, you have roses, like fresh. I mean, this is all fresh from Morocco. They are really particular with their ingredients. They really, really are. Like they procure it directly, you know, to make this whole, you know, tea. Um, pomegranate, you have the henna as I mentioned. Uh, clove, sardina, which is a, a local, like a native uh, herb to Morocco. It, it's not, you don't see a lot of information about it, but it's definitely good for strengthening and, and has those definitely benefits uh, for that uh, as well. And then date seeds. So date seeds, and they crush those really fine to protect the hair strands as well, uh, which in Morocco I had date coffee. It was actually super good. It was really good. So th though from answering the question, I will get it. All right, so Hoku Koruko. I love seeing all you guys, my regulars. I can't wait for everyone to come, everything to come back in stock. Yes, I know. Sirsha, all right, that's good. That's great. So that's a great point too, Sirsha Shana. So for any new product you use, even though it's natural, I highly recommend that you all do like, you know, tests, you know, on your skin, especially the inner arm. I'm pointing to the inner arm because it's th thinner there and then sometimes people do behind the ear but i like to see like i don't i can't really see behind my ear so i don't do um test test of herbs 
on parts of our that I can't see. I want to see what, you know, it's going to, how it's going to react. So I usually do the inner arm where the skin's a little bit thinner, like around here somewhere, and like leave um, new herbs. And I've done it in the past, I mean, I've, but I haven't done anything recently because I'm using all the regular stuff. I'm already past that, but because I've been doing this since uh, whew, 2005 officially, but a little bit before then as well. So I would definitely recommend to all of you to test any new herbs that you use before using it full strength. Definitely, just to be careful. You know, it's natural. Peanuts are natural. Essential oils are natural. There's a lot of things that are natural that can still, you know, be harmful so to you, and you may not know. And as we get older sometimes, not only sometimes does like the hair change, you know, definitely the hair can change as we get old. The skin changes as well. It's, and I know because it's happened to me, you know, it, it, like my skin reacts differently. I, I like say sugars or certain things uh, just make me break out. Like really, I just have to cut that, which is good. I'm like grateful because I don't need all that junk. <laughs> well, this tea, no, this tea will not tint your hair, by the way. It will not. If you use henna in an oil infusion and you're straining it, and just, it, will ne it won't tint your hair. Oil infusions don't typically color your hair, um, so you won't get that out. Uh, Aquafina said, Khadija, do you know if indigo will work with cassia? No, Aquafina, no, unfortunately. Well, some people do use cassia, but it doesn't really work effectively to really give you long-term color because cassia is more semi-permanent. So you won't get like, you know, it'll just be kind of off. Like sometimes the hair will be, you know, yellow, green. It just is kind of, henna is better when using it with indigo. Hey, Michelle. Um, what other questions? Oh, oh, was it sassy? Rarely that word will be censored. <laughs> they won't shut you down live, but unless you say those words, they're, they're watching. Uh oh, I just said those words. Did I get shut down? You guys can still see me, right? Yeah, I'm still in the live. Okay, I'm like, wait, let me see, because I'm reading comments and looking at myself on the screen at the same time. I was like, am I get censored? You know? Oh, crazy. So, I don't want to be censored, guys. I don't want to be censored. Unless you say those words, okay, they'll block people from comment in chats if they use the words repeatedly. Got you. Hey, Prentice. Faded Owl. Hey, Khadija. New to the lock journey. All right. Wondering are any new products that would be advised against that could cause buildup? Maybe the hair, hair, hair nurture? Um, so you, Faded Owl, just so I understand your question, you want me to give you a recommendation of products to avoid so you don't have buildup? Um... I mean, I would say like products that uh, have a lot of oils in it, stylers mostly. The the sweet honey hair nurture washes right out, so I don't none of the none of the ingredients in that I would say would build up. It's pretty, it's moisturizing, but for locks, I really feel like it's a good choice. Like it's good, and the hair tea, as I mentioned in the video, um, that's really good for locks too because it's convenient. And then shampoo bars are really convenient for locks too because they don't suds up anything SLS free won't suds as much. The only issue you run into, I'm, and I'm not, I'm, I don't want to sit here and claim I'm a specialized in locks because locks are really deep. Like I took a class and I sat in the class and I was blown away. Um, but that SLS free products don't always cut out like enough of the oil or build up as well. It's great, but it, you're going to have to definitely um, clarify or um, you know, go to someone who knows locks really well to make sure they wash and cleanse your hair properly to avoid build. Or if you learn on your own how to do it, even better. That's that's what you do from home. It'll be cheaper. But I do support our professionals out there because the next thing up that we're working on is a professional curriculum specializing in hair, hair color and Ayurvedic healthy hair care. So professionals and colorists have access to this knowledge. You can do services. It is nice to be treated. It's not, it's nice to go to the salon. I, I love the salon. Even though you guys don't see my hair and everything, and you probably wonder like, when does, what does Khadija look like, or does she go to the salon, or or what you know, what is it you know, you know that she does. But I do. I just go privately, and I and I do. It's a nice treat. I love it. What tea is best for rapid hair? Mina Lewis. We just did a video on it. The Moroccan hair tea. This is really good for hair growth. Absolutely. It's ready to use all in one. It has everything you need. You have to watch this video for sure. And then you'll see. Um, is a tea a clarifier? No, Anna Bo, no. Tea is not really a clarifier. But if you do an ACV rinse, that can help with clarifying. Yeah, ACV, I'm just like thinking at the same time. But no, the teas are not really clarifiers. Um, not, I can't think of any of the ingredients that I would say. But ACV, maybe if you want to change it up and mix it with some ACV. I mean, that's a, that's a good, that should help a little bit. 
Uh, what uh, us is that class will you'll have one specific to offer? Faded Owl, I'm sorry, I don't understand your question. Um, yeah, Sadia Kazi, you can definitely watch later. And Faded Owl, if you can repeat that. Hey, love, hey, T bro, yes, Baltimore in the house. Well, I don't know specifically right in Baltimore, I'm close though, I'm close, close, close. But yeah, definitely a Maryland minority owned business. I'm obsessed with that. That honey hair nurture is so good. Oh, I have, yeah, that's really, really good. Thank you, Rose. Um, Latoya Shaw, hey. Do you use the tea after shopping? That's a great question. I would say it depends on which method that you're using because there's four ways to use this hair tea. So first, um, I would say you don't want to get rid of some of the benefits. I think this will be used after when you're done uh, washing. This will be like your final wrap up, you know, or, or overnight oil treatment or your spritz. This is like your add in for to create less shedding to, you know, and, and whatnot. So definitely that we have 74 people, 75 people in the room. Okay, I see you guys. Okay, you're welcome, Men of the list. You're welcome. Oh, thank you, T-Bro. Thank you. I was like, who is T-Bro? Who are you? Have we met before? <laughs> I have a feeling. I'm like, do I know you? I think I know you. Okay, so I was proud. Oh, thank you. That's so sweet. Is hibiscus in this tea? No, um, 1922 Missy Blue. No, there's no hibiscus in, in this tea. There will be, I think, are we putting hibiscus in the Ayurvedic tea? I can't remember. There's a lot of herbs in there though, like ashwagandha. Ooh, that's gonna be good. But um, no, there's no hibiscus in this one. There is no hibiscus um, that I decided to choose. I think it grows native in Morocco. I'm not sure, I'm not 100% sure. I haven't, I don't think it does though. Like in, in India, uh, hibiscus grows and uh, yeah. How often should you use a tea for low porosity hair? Audrey Parker, I would definitely recommend as often as you need. Um, you know, especially as a spritz, anytime you need it, spritz your hair. It's not going to do it harm to like refresh and moisturize. Um, you, you know, do it, you're probably be using it anywhere from every, uh, every, like maybe every three to four days, maybe even more often. It won't be harmful. And if it's a hair growth oil, um, you know, you're doing overnight infusions, you might do that every five to seven days or on your wash day, you know, that'll be kind of done like that. Yes. And... Faded Al said, you mentioned a class about locks. Oh, what I learned. Oh, um, Faded Owl, I don't know if I'd offer something similar to that because I'm not a loctician. I'm not like a stylist. I'm more into product development and, you know, brand owner and then also developing educational courses. Um, but locks, I would say is a little bit deeper than my, I'd have to do a whole training, but I did sit because I do a lot of natural hair um, professional events and this was a specific one for professionals and styles and everyone so the class is being taught amongst professionals so but it, it was a great class like they definitely it's called who runs it it's um the natural uh oh, I forget what it's called you might have to send us a message to see the natural hair show runs it it's the natural hair show like out of Maryland but they do it also in, in Atlanta they run their courses in Maryland um, if you want to know more about this professional level, um, you know, hair colorist, they got all types of, like everything, like braiding, locks, so, like they cover everything. Like if you want to know more about this platform, just send us an email, we'll let you know. Because I, off the top, I'm drawing a blank. I can see it, but I can't see it. But I've done a lot of classes, um, like with them as well. I've taught a lot of classes. But my specialty, you know, henna and Ayurvedic hair care. <laughs> um, Thami said, hey, what do you do if your hair has become hard from using Arabic powders? You probably will have to take a break and see if you can figure out which specific Ayurvedic herbs are making your hair hard. How often are you doing like Ayurvedic treatments and are you balancing what moisture? Are you doing deep conditioning treatments? Are you spreading it out? Um, I would say you might need a one-on-one -on -one regimen, like a consultation. Um, so you may want to do that. I do consultations. Anyone goes to hennasook.com, you can click book now, and then if you scroll down, you'll see that there's a place to book an appointment. And hey, consistently, Tasha TV. I use the tea as a liquid on, on my LCO method. All right, you do, I like that, that's nice. Is it a, for aqua mason? Absolutely, this is good for all hair types, all hair textures. 
Yes, absolutely. I, th I would say type three and type four especially need this. This is, yes, absolutely. Absolutely, it's so versatile. See, that's the great thing about henna and Ayurvedic hair care. They're literally for everyone. Mind you, some of our products are a little bit heavier than others, but Ayurvedic herbs in general, like plant-based, just the herbs, the raw natural form of the herbs, just like you see here. You know, this, these are for everyone. It's a matter of just adjusting it to work on your hair needs, like with more moisture or maybe ooh, ooh, less, <laughs> you know, and stuff like that. You know, it's just a balancing it out to create recipes that work well for you. Yes, all right, Ayurvedic hair tea, I see, okay, I see that, and you're welcome, okay. How long do you infuse this tea with oil, and how much tea to use for an infusion? I definitely recommend one bag, that's what I use, and because I don't want to break it open either. One bag is plenty, it's 50 grams, so that's a lot. So you definitely want to uh, let it infuse. If it's an oil treatment, it depends on the method of the oil, the way you're like infusing it. If you're just doing it at like warm, like naturally, like room temperature, it may be a couple of weeks. Some people like really speed up the process and they talk about doing it in a few days. I, I, the oil is not really at its best in a few days, guys. Like a really, a true natural oil infusion takes a couple of weeks. When I did the, the oil infusion, I, I did it at least, I believe it was, we went on two weeks. And you can see that in the video. If you're on the course for the Ayurvedic Strength and Hair Growth, that's the one where I show you how I did it. I used a small crop pot just to warm it to kind of start it up. But I, I really let it sit. Like I turned it off and I let it sit. Like I really want it to be potent. And you can see in the video, and I keep looking around because I want to grab it, but it's too far away. But it, you can see in the video how rich it came out. Like it really needs to you know, soak in the oil. If you really want benefits, don't rush it. I know it takes a while, but it's so worth it. And if you can do it in a tea brew, definitely, um, you know, make it in a tea brew, freeze it. If you make a lot, freeze it, you know. How much oil to use? I would say one tea bag. What did I say? It's in the video. You guys have to subscribe to the course. I give you all the measurements and the amounts that you should use. But I believe Oh, I'm trying to go from memory. I believe it was at least two cups of oil. Two to three cups. I'm trying to think. I, I think I use more about like two to three cups of oil as a base. And I, I use Kabili oil. Can this tea make my hair stiff? No, 1922. No, it shouldn't make your hair stiff because you're using it in a moisturizing type of way. First, it's a hair growth oil or it's a spritz. And then you're adding it to like your other DIY recipes. As you see, you have to watch this video. It's and it really tells you how to use it in the best way. And nothing about any of the tips that I that I show you are drying whatsoever. No, 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 quite the opposite. They're moisturizing hair growth methods that work really well. And your hair will smell amazing. <laughs> Is it okay to add other Ayurvedic herbs to? Yes, Lady Fluffy Cakes, absolutely. If you feel comfortable with DIY, add the other herbs that you want to add, absolutely. Antoinette Redguard, hey, oh, I see it. So is this tea good for all hair? Yes, I did, all hair types. Is it okay to reuse a tea bag? Brown girl, I mean, you could reuse, I wouldn't reuse it if you infuse it in water because you know that water and oil, that's gonna create bacteria. So you don't wanna do that. Be wary of like, many of us are not using preservatives when we're doing some of these infusions. Uh, anything with water could create bacteria. So do know that. Reusing it, I don't think it's worth reusing. If you do a proper infusion, you should discard it and put it in the compost if you can compost it, bury it in the forest, <laughs> let it go back to the earth. Everything about it is biodegradable, so you can do that. If you, you should do your own compost at home, by the way, if, if you can. I know some of the people live in apartments and stuff like that. And, but anyhow, if you can, it would be nice. Um, but um, definitely you shouldn't reuse them really because they won't be as potent anymore anyhow. So. Just get everything out of it in the first, you know, the first steeping. All right, what else can I see here? Let's see some other comments. All right, 91 people watching. Okay, I see you guys. All right, what else we got? How long to infuse? I think I answered all those questions. Um, yes, Melissa. Melissa got the, the Ayurvedic Hair Strengthening Six-Week Hair Regimen. The full way to use this hair growth oil and how to make it is in that course. If you all are interested in taking our courses, limited time only, you can take $30 off. 
I know in my last video, a few people got confused about that discount. They thought it was off the products. So I just want to clarify that the promotion is $30 off the course, not the products. So once you use the coupon, so the, the Ayurvedic Strength um, and Hair Growth, um, there's two courses right now that are live. One's the Ayurvedic Strength and uh, Hair Growth six week bundle, like, uh, not bundle, sorry, not bundle, course, course. Oh my gosh, no wonder I, I confuse myself. Those two courses have $30 off. The first one is that you'll see in the first box, it'll be July Hair Goals, all capitals for $30 off. The other course, which is the Ayurvedic Method to Waste Length Hair, is $30 off using the coupon code Waste Length. But the products that are attached with those courses are sold separately. They are sold separately because we don't want to make anyone buy the course, and we don't want to make anyone just buy the products. Like, um, me, no, that's not. <laughs> We don't want you to buy everything if you feel you don't have to because sometimes some of you have the products already So I never want to tie you into forcing you to buy everything and then spending more money because obviously it would be more expensive So in this way, I feel like separating it gives you all the options sometimes some clients Want the bundle they don't want the course because they have much more experience So it's I really want everything that we do at Hennessy to be customizable to you and your hair needs I don't want to push anyone to do just the way that I said it. Look at this video. It's four ways to infuse a Moroccan hair tea rinse, right? Four ways for you guys to choose. Not for me to make you do, because I mean, the results are going to be amazing. I mean, there's no doubt about that. But I want you guys to have choices and options. I want, I feel like as a professional, we need to make sure that we customize every regimen to as unique as our hair is and our schedule and our life and, and our focus, right? So that's my job. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. <laughs> I hope that makes sense. Sometimes I know I could be all over the place. That's okay. That's what makes me, um, you know, that makes me well-rounded. <laughs> um, yes. Does it help with shedding? It really does help with shedding. Does it help more than black tea? I'm going to be very transparent. I have not tried black tea because it has caffeine in it. I find it to be drying for me personally. I like green tea as a, as a spritz, it's great. And I like this one because I don't find it as drying. Like I, yeah, I don't really, so I have, I, I just like this one, that person, that's my personal opinion. Um, and so is Curly Proverbs. She had did some of a video on that. I took the original course and the tea was so, oh, hey, baby, the crochet, what's up, girl? Wasn't as drying, okay, thank you. See the, the comment right underneath it because I'm reading at the same time said how, how non-drying it was. Where I think, honestly, in my opinion, why I think it's not as drying is because there's no caffeine. So green tea and black tea tend to have caffeine unless you're buying caffeinated free, but I, this has so much more benefits. I mean, honestly, like you can't go wrong. It just, it has so many more herbs and so much more benefits and so versatile. You can use, you get hair growth oil and a spritz all in one. I think that's amazing. Yeah, <laughs> tea works better, better than me. Then, oh, that's amazing, sassy braid. That's great. Hey, twists and turbans. I will be using the tea as a hot oil treatment. Ooh, I like that. My focus is on using oils as butters along with henna to condition and strengthen my hair. Purchase your plus, plus join your hair course. Yes, okay, you go. Twists and turbans. Okay, you go, you go. You guys who are in the courses, there's a new updated section. Even if you did the course and then you finished, Remember, you can go back. I actually made some changes to the first course too, because in that course we have well over, we have nearly 200 students in that first class. And then the second one that we just put out with the Ayurvedic method to waist length hair, I think we're at 50 now. It's just blowing up so much. Like we are so busy like setting out the bundles and getting everyone set up with the course because we had more forms to add, but I added some new things. There's a section that says earn more and there's a way for all of you to earn some amazing incentives. And students of the course, if you're in the course, I really recommend that you do, like don't choose to opt out of emails. To be on, it's not a mailing list. I, it's only actually me. I'm emailing all my students directly. So anybody in the course gets direct contact with me. I'm, I'm your teacher, instructor. I have co-instructors like Sarah in the last one. She's part of it as well. Curly Proverbs is going to be on the future one as well. Um, and Coily Dawn too. She's going to also be part of the next one we have that's coming up. Um, but what I was going to say, 
that um you know definitely opt into the emails because i give you guys special bonuses that i don't we don't even give like the main you know clients like students get you know a little bit of special treatment so get stay tuned for those emails um because um you know you get a little bit of extra treatment like i said <laughs> um yes okay so first lady fox i had the product without the course that's fine first lady like i mentioned if you have the products and you are very comfortable with DIY, you can definitely go for it. There is a lot of benefits to being in the course. It really helps you stay focused. It helps you get on a plan and a regimen. Um, and if you need guidance and regularity, there's a lot of recipes that are not published anywhere. Definitely in that course, a lot of information, a lot of handouts, and it, it's really worth it. It definitely is. And you get $30 off those courses right now. Each of them, you can take $30 off each of them and students, of the course also get a 50% off coupon for the bundle and the ebook uh, planner the hair journal so and you get a lot of pretty good benefits <laughs> yes but I see the course as well so Annabelle asked what is the difference between them and is which one is better for her high porosity hair I would say if I had to say what's better for high porosity hair I'd probably say the Ayurvedic strength and hair growth regimen that would be pretty good for high porosity and it's pretty basic um, waist length hair, it can be, but I say if you need more moisture in, like heavier moisture is what I want to say, um, you can adjust it as well. But um, yeah, the, this hair reddick strength course is really, really good. Definitely, um, you know, definitely. So I will check out the price of the course. I made sense. Yes, all right, awesome, Melissa. Hey, this is a beautiful question. I see, I got a few more comments here at the bottom. Lady Fluffy Cake said, that's the one thing I love about your partisan course is how easy it is to customize everything to suit. Yes, yes. Lady Fluffy Cakes, exactly. It, it, to me, it's so important. That's the core of Henna Sook is giving you the best raw natural ingredients, guiding you in DIY, and making products that maybe you're not into DIY. Maybe you just want it ready to use. So it's like a well-balanced. Like it's such a, it's pretty cool. <laughs> Hanasuka is so well balanced, you know, and, and I'm all about supporting what you guys want and your focus is because it's just important it, and, and that's the way that I want to be treated. So Hannah looks like my baby. It's an extension of who I am as well, which I hope this lasts for as long as I'm here on this earth, you know, definitely um, because the essences of business um, is so important. It's like I don't want to ever change. So I hope that, you know, that it all, never changes or if it does change a little bit it becomes more changes in a way that makes it more you know up to date you know more versatile or you know better ways but not to take away the core essence it's always important actually life advice it's really important with anything that you do in life and in, in, in your path and your direction in life is to remember your intentions and where you started out from and your you know your your stay true to your intention like whatever you intended for like keep that course um in life we learn so much about our own selves and and part of hannah is you're discovering more about yourself you're tapping into your creativity you're making time for self-care it's just pulling like little bits of gems from everywhere we need to make time for ourselves i mean i know covid19 definitely made us slow down and say hey you know like be centered for a minute uh, even as intense as it, it is, it is, um, you know, one day at a time. Yes. So Nell Slay said, can you explain the difference in henna? How are the different types of henna? Um, well, the different heads, I don't want to go off topic though. I really do want to take all your questions, but I want to stay on topic. Uh, Nell Slay, um, like there's definitely a lot of information on our website under the henna 101 page we have a whole article just on the differences between our henna powders that you can and i can link it uh or you know what would be better i think that if you send us an email we can send you the link or just go to henna 101 on our page all those great articles are right there because there's a lot of information and i don't want to get go off topic with just henna um but good quality henna is what's important and i will say that different henna powders that we we give them different names based on the country of origin basically but we carry body art quality pure henna powders we don't do henna blends or uh, ppd in our henna additives metallic salts there's no garbage in our henna so if someone has relaxed hair someone has even chemical dyes or perm or whatever you may be using you can safely use our products you definitely can 
Mind you, there are exceptions to certain things though, like if you're using a lot of chemicals that along with henna and like mostly indigo, that's gonna be a little tough to pull out is the ish, main issue that people have. Yes. Hey, Rep Jesus said, I was on your site the other day. Thank you, you're so welcome. Is yes, Dishal, the hair journal that we have on the website under eBooks is printable and you can print I make sure just to download it within seven days and save the file and you can print it as many times as you want. I will ask you though, it is one per person. So even though I can't control everything that all of you are maybe doing, I, I please support you know our brand and our business by making sure that you don't share your copy with other people. Um, it's then one per person. When you purchase it, you know, it goes to supporting and expanding and us doing more things like this, you know, definitely. It's like with music, right? With music artists, you gotta buy, it's better to buy direct because you wanna support the artist. When you buy from a business, I like to buy direct, actually. I like to go to their website because I know that some of these big box um, businesses cut right into the profits. Um, they really do, as an example. So, yeah, so, hey, okay, hey, oh, he said, uh, so I have black hair and some gray um, Red Rash, when, Red Rash will be back in, um, in August, by the way. So we will have a hair coloring, um, live because I'm building up to the henna hair color. We're going, we're kind of going back. I want to focus on some of these non-coloring treatments. Um, but once Coily Dawn's, um, her, her curriculum, her course will launch first and that's going to be a step back into henna. Um, like basically not like a henna, like strengthening regimen and a chorus ba basically. And, um, and she has type four hair, which is going to be really great, really great content. Cause she talks about her journey of like where she started and where she was going. And uh, so I just want to, my point is I don't want to go off topic in this uh, live and where we're at, but then the next course we have coming out was with curly, uh, Proverbs, AKA Farida on specifically henna hair coloring and in between treatments that you can do definitely. Yes. And treat others. Yes. I love those. Awesome. 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 Yes. I know guys. Red Rug is coming. I promise. I know. August. I know. I know. And I know it's a, a while. Um, all the products that we have from India have, we've been out of stock for quite a minute. What happens is that India definitely is one of the top countries with COVID cases. And there has been a lot of, um, slowing down and, and it just a whole, been a whole, excuse me, process of just trying to get it and, and whatnot. But we're getting closer, I promise to. Things are actually running really smooth right now. Things are really good. I got some great news about the order from India. So guys, stay tuned, stay tuned, you know, definitely. Yes, yeah, I know, and stock up. Yes, do stock up. <laughs> you might want to stock up a little bit, but be, but be fair in your stock up. You know, stock up, if I would say anything, when the herbs come in August, because we're doing a part shipment. I do want to be honest and clear that we are doing a part shipment. We're getting um, some of, a lot of, we are getting a lot. It's a pretty good sized order, but it's part of the main shipment. So if you want to stock up, just in case, stock up till at least October. Plan your next big order to be for up to October. So that's going to be what, August, September, October, maybe a little bit into November. So stock up for at least at least three months. Plan your your three months at least, and then hold off. I would recommend you hold off till Black Friday, because it's going to be a huge sale. Black Friday is going to be worth it. Then stock up. We will have our whole inventory. Everything will be here. And can you believe that it's almost like before we know it, we're so close to those months. And I definitely recommend it because. On a side note, not to scare anyone, we don't know what's going on with COVID. We really, really don't. So our our shipment is huge. It really is like from India. We have a humongous shipment. Luckily, we because I'm trying to plan and think ahead of like what could be the possibilities. I don't want to scare and make anyone nervous. We just don't know, and I just want you to be prepared and be ready and be you know smart and whatnot and be in this together. You know because we don't know what's going to happen. So just you know. Yes, Amla is included in that. It's coming in August. And Nidam, sorry. <laughs> so sorry, their, their order is going to be huge. Hello again. I would love to try this hair growth too, but struggle with leg retention. Uh, what could be used to help in the efforts that aren't futile? Nidam, have you um, tried our Cassian Curls mask? That's really good for um, just the curls and one Amla masks. But if you join our Henna Ayurvedic 
strength and growth course that one's really good it has a lot of curl retention kind of recipes and, and formulations in there and then it shows you also the full um, video on how to make the hair growth oil how to make this um, the spritz oh it has a lot of great information that's definitely probably our, our best selling course right now and hey Callie said hey Kadesh have you considered having a blog on your site where users can ask questions and start a story outside of Facebook I do have a blog I don't know if all of you knew that we have a blog we do we do have a blog we the original blog was hennablogspot.com but because I wanted the website henna soup to be a platform where you could find everything in one like you can click on the henna 101 and get like your basic information you can click on from there there is a link for henna TV which is actually an embedded system for YouTube and then you have um, what's the other link then it's henna um, yeah, it's Henna 101 and whatnot, and the blog is there as well. The blog is right there under the Henna 101. If you click it, it's like a subcategory of Henna 101. If you like just hover over basically the Henna 101, you can see the options underneath it. So that way you can choose, you know, the different options that you want. But we do have a blog and you can ask questions there. I, I think I've been pretty good with the blogging too lately. And Pinterest, shout out to Pinterest, by the way. I know it's not a plat it's not to do with your question, but I got excited about Pinterest. 1.3 million monthly viewers. I was so happy. That was like one of the goals, like to hit like an, over a million. So if you love Pinterest, which we do, please follow us also on Pinterest. All you Pinterest, we're Hannah Sook for sure, obviously. Follow us. We have, I post up a lot of like great little clips and there's some content in there that you don't see on other platforms um, that I post there. Um, but definitely, uh, yeah, we have a blog. So there's a place that you can ask questions and everything like that as well. It's not a forum though, it's a blog. So a forum and a blog are two kind of different flows. Um, but we do have the face, you said other than Facebook. We have the Facebook group, but yeah, that doesn't work for you. Callie, do you like, are you in the Facebook group? Do you like that group or not really? Mm. Um, so, okay. I, it's A U K E. Do you say okay? Okay, oak. I don't want to say that wrong. You so you see the hair growth kit, but it is all Moroccan henna. Um, no, the Moroccan. I'm not sure which product you might be looking at. Can you choose? No, we don't have like Red Rider is not in any of our kits currently. They're not in our bundle or they're it's sold only by itself. Um. The hair growth ha kits don't have henna either. We don't, except for except for the henna strengthening bundle, which is out of stock right now. We did that video last week and it sold out. Um, we're gonna keep that bundle though because it's so popular that we're going to once we're missing the suitcase or if we get more, we might have a little bit more like left. I'm not 100% sure. I have to double check because right now we're going through hundreds and hundreds of orders. Like after. Um, we got this back in stock and the henna, it was crazy. So, and July 4th weekend, yeah, and very insane. Where is the aloe? Everyone's looking for the aloe vera powder. Yes, all the Ayurvedic herbs from India, my dears, are coming in August. Stay tuned, August, it's, and we have good news that things are going well for that order right now. So, maybe it'll be earlier. I don't know, what's the date today? July 9th, stay tuned. Um, and definitely um, sign up for any product that you want on our website. Make sure that when you're on the products page that you uh, enter your email to be notified. As soon as it comes back in, you get notified and you can buy it. Callie, love the products. I find myself answering people. Oh, you do? Oh, thank you, Callie. I appreciate that. I will be honest. It's, it is. There's a lot of platforms that I have to manage. So I, it's hard for me to be on Facebook all the time, but I do try my best to be as attentive as possible. Definitely, thank you. I really uh, do appreciate that when we're in these chats, when we're in these rooms together, that we can all like help each other out. Like that is tremendous. I really appreciate that you guys can help and answer other people's questions and give your feedback. Um, it, it's really helpful, honestly. Yes. Oh, okay, not on Facebook a lot. Okay, got you. I understand, yeah. It's pro oh, it's pronounced Uwaku, Uwaku. Oh my gosh! I want. I feel Uwaku. Am I saying it right? Uwaku. I I I, I like. I have a thing about saying things properly, so that's why I'm like, am I saying it right? 
Oh, uh, oh, oh, gosh. Oh, ow, ow, cool, ow, cool. Am I saying it right? I think, I think that flow is, I'm getting there, I'm getting there. So you'll wait till November when you're totally stocked up. Thank you, Sassy Bree, Sassy Rare Bree. Love the email notifications. Thank you, First Lady Fox. Praise the supply shipment comes earlier because mama needs her AMLA. <laughs> I know I miss that AMLA. Oh my gosh, I miss the AMLA powder. Oh yeah, me too, me too. I definitely miss it. Um, all, we all we have is what we have in production. So I just, I want my own bag of AMLA powder. And the great thing about our new shipment from India, everything is gonna be finally packaged in the pouches. Some of you have probably received the foil packages I hate them. They're so ugly. They're, they're so ugly. I hate them so much. But when you are a growing business, you don't always have the funds to do that. So thanks to you guys and the growth that Hannah Swift has experienced, especially in the last year, especially in the last year, even during this crazy COVID stuff, um, we have been able to invest in the pouches because special packaging does require more money. <laughs> so, you know, I had to, you know, slowly we had some of the pouches, like, you know, you see the Rajasthani and the Moroccan henna, like those were like baby steps, but now we were able to dive in and like, uh, like well, I'm already had its own package with fenugreek. Um, all the new products that we have, Sukesh is now a special package. Um, Goddess Hair has its own pouch, uh, which it does, but we still have to do that here. It just, it's official. I am so excited about that. Oh my gosh. I love those pouches because they're resealable and they keep out the, the light and the moisture. So it keeps your herbs even more fresh and potent than ever before. Yes. Oh, I'm so funny. You are still saying it wrong. Oh my gosh. I'm saying it wrong. <laughs> oh, I wish there was like a thing here. I want to say it right. So it's, oh, no, it's not. Oh my gosh. I guys, I'm, I, I can't say, I want to say it right. Is it cool? Oh, cool, cool. Oh, cool. Oh my gosh. I wish I could say that right. You know what? You're going to have to like send a DM with a little voice thing and be like, Keisha, this is how you say it. This is exactly how you pronounce it. And then I'll be like, yes, thank you. You made my day so much better because <laughs> now I know I'm not messing somebody's name up. Um, yes, I love Amla. Amla is so, so, so good. Yeah, a lot of us focusing on hair growth. I know, actually, yeah, it's been great. I mean, COVID sucks, but quarantine has really given us the opportunity to focus on our hair and our health and wellness directly more so. So there has been some good things, even during this sucky time. You should spell your name phonetically so that she can try again. <laughs> Is it pronounced awk? So I will on IG or okay. <laughs> you could do it. no, no. Oh, everyone's saying no. It's it's not said right. We're all gonna be like debating like how do you say it? Oh, maybe on Instagram because I can check the Instagram. I have access to being like okay, guys, this is how you say it. I can listen to the henna Sook IG. Oh my god, I got herbs on my phone too. Oh poor phone. All right, my dear. So beautiful, beautiful people. Did I get to? <laughs> Yes, to really, exactly. Look at that. I'm so happy that there's 93 people in this room. It makes me feel so happy. Um, did I get to all your questions? Um, if so, then I am ready to log off and make dinner. I am super hungry. I know I probably you probably remember that I said that last week. It's time for me to cook and eat some good food because I like to eat. I definitely love to eat. When I travel, I'm looking for a restaurant. <laughs> some of you look for beaches. And other, I mean, I love the beach. Don't get me wrong. I love the beach. I love water. I love all that. And and, but I am definitely looking for the the number one food spot. I'd be like, is there a Yelp? Does Yelp work here? Okay, if Yelp works, I'm gonna look up what Yelp says. Um, definitely. So, uh, oh, use Amla for six months. That's amazing. Awesome, Rose. Yes, you can absolutely mix Amla and Brahmi. So if any of you want to mix and experience with your experiment with your different Ayurvedic herbs. Go ahead, have fun. Remember, the hair journal helps you keep track of the DIY recipes you're doing, so that way you can know what's working, what's not working. So definitely keep track of those recipe recipes. Look, yes, this will be on YouTube. I usually leave the lives. I don't. I I I think they're worth it. They're long. How long have we been in here? How long have we been in here? 
stream 49 minutes ago. Okay, so we've been here for a while. I think I got all your questions, but I do want to know, don't forget to tag us, and I want to know how you guys have been using this. Did it work for you? Maybe it didn't. Maybe something wasn't too, that's okay. You know, honesty is the best policy. We want to be transparent, but I would love to hear your results, so for sure. Yeah, V3 Crochet, we need to hang out. We should hang out. Anyone who likes to hang out, search out food when they go to some new spot, new, new space, new city, new country, uh, yeah, hit me up. I'm, I'm down. And my husband hates that problem. But he likes to eat, I eat, but I'm extra about it. I'm like, okay, like when I go to Mon home to Montreal, I'm like, all right, we need to stop over there. Yeah, yeah, that place right here. Oh, yeah, I need to hit all my spots, all my hometown spots. I need to eat and get my, my grub on and everything that I love. Um, it's it's fun. Uh, it's definitely a lot of fun. I, 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 I like to eat. I like to cook. But I'm a creator. I'm a maker. I mean, you guys knew I could probably bust out some good food and cook some good delicious things. Yes, I'm a very good cook. You see me making that pies? You see how that almond mix comes out when I'm mixing up a, a batch? Yeah, it's because you know that's a natural talent. <laughs> yes. Oh, it's oak, oak natun. Oh, wait, huh? Wait, I'm reading the comments. I'm like, yes, <laughs> definitely. Okay. All right. I love all you guys. Like, oak natun, but with natun and green. Look at I'm still trying to say that name. Darn it. <laughs> yes, oak. Oak, auk. Auk? Oh, my gosh. Yes, you're so welcome, everyone. Okay, I'm going to stop trying to say things that I can't say. But you know what? Guess what? Let me, let me, let me give you this tidbit. My grandmother from Guyana... Her name is Ayi. Guess how you spell that? A-I-E. And a fun fact, I found out that in, um, I, guess, I think in China and maybe Taiwan too, um, but Ayi means auntie. And I was like, oh, I wonder if that's why they called my grandmother like Ayi. I just wonder because her name is actually Olive. So my middle name is Ayi Olive. So I got my daddy's mom's name from Guyana. Okay. <laughs> so it's different. So I know spelling can be very interesting. A-I-E. If you saw A-I-E, how would you think you would say it? Yeah. I-E. That's, that's how you say it. All right, my dears. Okay. I love you guys so much. You guys are the best. Thank you for bearing with my weird humor. I hope I entertained you. And um, so I will see you. I think the next video, I just want to tell you the next video up will be a preview of the Ayurvedic Strength and Hair Growth um, six week regimen. It's like a preview. I know some of you are already familiar with it, but I never did a preview like commercial. So that's coming out. I believe it'll be ready by Sunday. And um, what else? Um, the next one after that is a cute video with Matina again. Matina, the aspiring actress. We worked on a slime video. So if you guys want to make slime, I know it's really different. If you guys want to work on, it's different. It's not your regular, but it's my, it's my girl Matina, who is my youngest daughter. So we're going to be doing slime. And we added like, we did one batch with hibiscus. We did one batch with henna. And then we did another batch with um, jaguar juice. So one of the slimes came out blue. It's so cool, but it's so easy to make. We made clear slime and we show you how to do all of it. And she's so cute in it. She's like showing you how to do it. And so for those of you with kids, or maybe for those who have the inner child in you and loves like feeling really, you know, loves dough and loves creativity. It's a lot of fun and it's super easy. I, I had a lot of fun. So that'll be the next video next week that will be up. Um, and yeah. All right, so stay tuned. If you have any video requests, any recommendations, anything that you want to see next, please send me a request because I'm trying to build a calendar and I do want to be very regular on YouTube. So I need to know what you guys want because that's the whole point of the YouTube is I'm doing this for you guys. So I want to make sure I have relevant, re yeah, relevant content that you guys want to see. So definitely uh, let me know. All right, babes, you guys, check the IG now. Wait, 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 hold up. Okay, Can, wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna check the IG, I'm checking the IG. I want, I hope it's not a disappearing, Um, where is it, where is it? Oh, I see it, I see it. Okay, I got it, can I play the voicemail? Um, not the voicemail. <laughs> can I, can I play the voice, can I play it out loud? I hope that's okay with you. 
Is that yes? I know I was about to go, what guys, she gave me a voice. Can I play it out loud? I just want to have your permission though. My grand, yes, this is awesome. That's Yes, all right, Belinda, you guys are gonna love this. So can I play it? Miss Allen, can I? Creative butterfly, is that all right? I just want your permission. I'm waiting for you to say yes or no because then everyone can hear it. I want everyone to hear it. Okay, yes, no, are you still there? What do you guys think? Yes or no? Should I play it? Are you guys still in the room? I have a message. Yes, play it? Okay, Sir Shana said play it. We're like all dying to know how to say her name. It's okay, right? Please. Yes, I want to hear. Everyone wants to hear. Okay, I'm saying yes, 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 yes. Okay. But she didn't say yes. I don't want to disrespect her. Okay. Yes, oh, everyone's saying yes. Are you still in the room? Everyone's saying yes. Okay. All right, you think that it's okay, right? She's not going to be mad at me, right? If we're playing it out loud in the public on a live YouTube. All right. Oh, everyone's saying yes. I'm looking like, should I do it? Okay, everyone's saying, oh, yeah, uh, yeah. Everyone's saying yes. Okay. Hey, Kadisha. It's Auka. Auka. That's how you pronounce it. It's Dutch. It's actually short of Audrey. Oh, it's short for Audrey. Oh, wait, 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 how do we, does it disappear? Let's say it again. Okay. Hey, Kadisha, it's Auka. 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 That's how you pronounce Auka. it. It's Dutch. It's actually short of Audrey. Auka. Auka. That's so cool. Auka. Auka? Oh my God. I'm going to have to listen to it five million times. <laughs> I'm going to listen to it again and I'm going to practice. That's beautiful though. So it's Dutch for Audrey. Okay. All right, thank you so much for sending it on IG. I love it, and your voice is beautiful. All right, so I will see you guys. Peace and blessings, love, all that good stuff. I will see you all soon, and have a good evening, and enjoy your weekends. See you guys. Bye. <laughs> Till we meet 